Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Thursday, June 27th, 2019. I'm the Drunk Poker. It's beer time. Um, I'm off tomorrow. I have weird, you know, working in restaurants, you have weird schedules. Uh, I'm working all long weekend, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm still going to celebrate every single day with a beer because that's what we do. That's what I do. But tomorrow, I'm, I have so much beer in my fridge right now, and in a good way. I don't mean like I'm, you know, I got two fours and two fours. I have so many different new beers I want to talk about that sometimes I just sit there for a minute and go, I have no idea where we're going. And literally, I have stuff that I bought the other day and the day before that, something from last week. And I bought this today, and I'm like, I want to drink this one now. I'm very excited about this one. Brute IPA, Icebreaker Brute IPA from Whitewater Brewing Company in the Ottawa Valley. For 5%, 46 IBUs. Again, I've heard really great things about this. Um, like, when I post about a beer or I talk about a beer, sometimes people will message me and say, have you tried this one from this brewery? This is my local brewery. Have you tried this? So, honestly, if I can find it, I will try it. And there's two of them. Tonight is, is toasted uh, tomato, well, toasted bacon and tomato sandwiches. You know, sometimes we just eat very simple food um, that we enjoy. And we sit outside and we have a few beers and we listen to some music and we read. And it's quite pleasant. And it's, it's excellent. And not everything's, life is not always a party. It's a, every day is not a holiday. Remember that? I do. <laughs> nice tangerine nose. You ever get too close? I got a little too close. Tangerine knows. Okay, let's get to this. Cheers to Whitewater for bringing out a brewed IPA. Good on ya. Good on ya. So the key with a brewed IPA and with a good brewed, any brewed beer, is you want to have that citrus punch. You want some citrus pith, some pine, which this has. I would say tangerine again, tangerine orange, uh, pitrus, the citrus pith. Uh, there's definitely a nice pininess. There's a dry bitterness, and that's that dry. So you're looking for a very dry finish. You're looking for a dry beer, right? That's the whole goal here is to remove that kind of, it, you don't want to call it juicy. It's, it's, it's not a juicy beer. Um, I don't think brewed IPAs will ever replace uh, hazy IPAs or New England style IPAs is anybody's favorite. What I do like them for is exactly what this one is delivering, which is kind of what I like. I like this dry, sort of bitter citrus pith, pine, um, lingers, tangerine, grapefruit. I like the malt profile on this. This leans into like a more biscuity or malty or grainy, grainy malt profile. Um, which is more leaning, say, West Coast. So, like a West Coast brute IPA. Is that a thing? It's a thing now. No, it's not. It's honestly, I think you need to try them. Like I said, they're not going to replace your favorite IPA, your favorite IPA style. But it's something different. And different is fun. And different is good. And now i got two cans of different. That's, that's a good thing for me. I think I'm winning here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go sit in the pool for a while. Wait for Mr. Polk to get home. Make dinner. Drink more beer. Look for your local LCBO. I think we gotta get we gotta get up to Ottawa Valley. I got a whole, whole bunch of places I gotta go that have opened since the last time we came this morning. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your day. Brute to the head. And doesn't that make this the champagne of beers? <laughs>